sanding sealer. What is it? Well, actually what it is, is they take a finish and they add an additive to it to make it sand easier. Um, if you watch the part about sandpaper, we were kind of talking about the sterates that they use on it. And what it is, it's basically kind of a lubricant type of product that's compatible with the finishes to make it sand easier. Simple as that. Now, I've seen a lot of companies write and post all kind of stuff saying that sanding sealers make a stronger finish. I would beg to disagree. And the reason for it is that the sterates in it. Um, they're solids of a sort. But I don't see that they fortify a finish at all. Now that said, in the solvent world, there's one that's called a vinyl sealer. Now, it does, because it's basically what it implies. It, it's a vinyl-based product that's used under pre-cat, post-cat lacquers and whatever, and they use it a lot in the, in the commercial kitchen cabinet and industry and whatever. It does add more moisture resistance and chemical resistance. But by and large, they don't. But they allow you to get the first couple coats on, and they, again, they sand easy. Now, one of the things you're going to see with the sanding sealer is when you start stirring it up, you're going to see a whole lot of goop and solids in the bottom. That's the filler. That's the sterate. So you want to make sure it's mixed good. Other than that, it's no different than a finish. Do we use them? No, nah, we don't. Don't. Why is that? Well, most all your finishes are self-sealing. I mean, I don't know anything that you can't put on let dry come back and scuff sand and keep on going. But I guess from a marketing standpoint, I mean, it does sand easier. I'll, I'll be first to admit that. But I guess from a marketing standpoint, if you can sell two products instead of just one, it makes a lot of sense. So this is just a piece of popper I shot real quickly. And, I mean, it powders up nice, and it sounds good. This is, I shot, I real quickly shot some on this piece of plywood right here. This is the one we've, we done shot everything in the world on this thing. And again, particularly here, you can see how quick and how well it, 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 it powders up. However, This side over here, this has got our water-based finish on it. And you're not getting as much powder here because you don't have the filler in it. Now, that said, when we talked about salt, spraying solvent-based finishes and whatever, and we talked, one of the things we, we talked about was how one coat will dissolve the other. Um, and at the end of it, I told you a little trick. Uh, and there's, there's applications where actually a sanding sealer would be beneficial, and I'm thinking on stuff like a walnut or, you know, a mahogany or something. It's got a little open grain to it. The filler in it's going to help fill some of those pores and get you to a smooth surface faster because it has all the solids in it. Um, put a sanding sealer on it, a water-based sanding sealer. It's 
scuff it good, put a solvent based top coat on it. Again, that solvent base isn't going to be dissolving that water base near as readily as it would another solvent base. Hope that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Um, it, it, works, it works well doing that. Now, make sure when you watch, make sure that with this said, that you watch grain filling. Um, I don't feel any difference. It'd be great. That's basically what sanding sealer is. Um, it can help you, but is it an absolute necessity? No, it's not. So that's about all. I'm like Forrest Gump. That's all I got to say about that.